Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. Do you want to know what my favorite tank is these days? Well, it's a simple answer if anybody were to come up and ask me. It is the Aromanizer OCC by Steam Crave. There are many videos on YouTube on the Aromanizer, and one of the reasons is that they've stayed the same. They haven't changed them. Other makes, they keep on coming out with different ones every couple of months, and then, then you're like, uh, this is last year's, or this is old news, I want the new one. Everyone on YouTube's talking about the new one from whatever company. And I really like that Steam Crave has kept their stuff the same and it tells you a couple of things number one they made it right the first time they don't have to keep on fixing it to make it better and like this one right here now let me let me back up a little bit they sent me their aromanizer OCC which is the organic cotton coil pre-installed they also have the aromanizer RDTA guess what they are exactly the same what I have on here is the RDTA. <laughs> they are, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out of the box. This is the large one. Look, they are exactly the same. All the parts are interchangeable. The only difference is that one has a rebuildable deck inside it. And the OCC, well, actually, <laughs> the OCC has the pre-made atomizer already in it. That's the only difference. So you could buy one. It doesn't matter whether you buy the RDTA or the OCC version because you could turn around and just get, you know, the different <laughs> atomizers with the deck that, that goes inside. And we'll be looking at all these things, but I really like that. And they have basically two different versions, whether you get the one with the rebuildable thing inside it or you get the one with the pre-made easy ones like me that, that I like they they have two different sizes you can see right there you have the little guy and you have the big guy they're both forty dollars by the way the links are provided in the description box below but um three milliliters six milliliters the little ones three milliliters the large one is six milliliters but you know what Usually, six milliliter tanks seem a lot larger. This is, uh, you know, very uh, doable. I, I have no problem just carrying it around here. A large tank that holds six milliliters. They somehow made it in such a way that it's not overly large. These are 22 milliliter, by the way. There's some other specs I just wanted to go over, and now we're going to sort of dive deep and take a closer look at what makes these things so special. I'm going to go ahead and take a vape real quick. Mm. And that's temperature control. That's the pre-made uh, nickel coil with organic cotton. I just stuck it in my RDTA because I, I just, I don't know, but I was, I'm old and I just don't like building anymore. I'd rather just have the pre-made ones, put them in there. <laughs> so anyway, no matter which one you get, you could, you know, like I said, get the decks. But specifics, um, I already talked about the size, 3 milliliter, 6 milliliter. I get smaller, large, they're both... Um, they're both um, the same price, $40. And if you get one tank, you could actually just buy the top and make the little one into the big one. And make the big one into the little one. Because you could buy all the pieces, which are in the links that I provided below, where you can sort of change things out. You could change the glass. You could change these bands. Like, here's a yellow band. Here's a pink band. Here's a blue band. And these have four holes if you want to cut down on the air in a different way. You can get ones with just two holes in them. I mean, they just thought of everything. You know, these guys came with the, st the stainless steel tips, but you could buy, like, the black t plastic tips, or if you want the white tips, or you could put your own tip in there. It's modular. It's sort of the AR um, of the vape tank world. I don't know how to put it. It's like a 1911 or an AR. It's very modular is probably the best way to put it. Um, these things are made very, very well. They're CNC'd. Um, 
they are they, they're seeing seed from a quality you know from a quality place I think it's from the same place as Kanger I'm afraid to say exactly where but it's you know one of the good ones they get a CNC they get it's C and seed from the same place quality 304 stainless steel and they have a black version now that black version it's not painted on and you know it, it's uh, plated on there somehow I'm not sure if I'm using the right term but the inside is still stainless steel and there's no machine oil taste or anything like that it is good to vape right out of the box and it's safe stainless steel 302 all the way through I've been using this one ever since I reviewed it like I don't know it, it might be a third to a half a year ago no leaking problems there there's sometimes a little bit of juice just seeping out of there and that's because of the condensation when I really start going crazy puffing this thing like a chimney you know because this thing's getting hot and the air is cold on the outside you get a little bit of condensation but I, I haven't had like anything just leak out and the, these bands uh, I promise I will dive deep and we will look at these in detail. This this like rubber band, if you want to call it, I don't think it's rubber. It might technically be some sort of silicone something or whatever. But you use this to control the airflow. And if you if you're kind of nervous about um, it leaking out when you like maybe have it sitting in your car, you could close these holes totally off so it's like a piece of rubber over a hole. So there is no way for anything to leak out of this tank at all, which is one of the things I like about this band. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I I'm talking, but I'm not really showing you the product, what makes this thing vape so well as far as vapor production, as far as flavor. I really think this has it all, and you're getting the original for 40 bucks. It's not a clone or anything like that. It, it's a, you know, it's the original, and it's at a clone price. Uh, that's another thing that I love about this. This is the whole package. So um, let's take a closer look at my my favorite freaking tank. So a little bit closer here. Small one, large one, three milliliter, six milliliter. We'll go ahead and open up the the little guy here. By the way, that's the box that it comes in nice little magnetic holder there you get a band an extra an extra band you get an extra um, pre-built coil there this is a dual coil canthal you can sort of see that in there and on the side here it does say 15 watts to 40 watts and this is a 0.3 ohm that they have out here they also give you some extra silicone rings as you can see o-rings really nice they give you even more extra o-rings that's freaking awesome so you know the you know these are a little bit small and they they do tend to break sometimes that's nice that they they sort of give you that and they even give you an extra you know pyrex glass thingy right there so they give you a lot of extra there there's some instructions down there nice packaging they even have a nice picture on what makes this special how it works how airflow goes in here juice comes around in there two separate paths they don't intermix until it's producing vapor right there in the wick really cool design and we'll go ahead and you, you can see this band a little bit closer there's four holes you could you could go bandless if you want you could just take this totally off which i'll, I'll go ahead and do that and you could just have the holes wide open right there if you don't like the band on there pretty cool what else is cool about this? Well, the tips that they have here are spit back resistant. See how this is closed off and the air comes in through the sides on the bottom? What that prevents is like if you have something, you know, that, that sizzle that can go on sometimes if you're running it, it's really hot. Um, it won't spit up out of the drip tip because this this will block it. That'll keep that from happening. But you still get, you know, all the air coming in on the sides right there. There's uh, one thing that's innovative. So that's two things actually. The band and the band again. You just turn you turn that band and it just closes all four holes at once. You could also go online buy um, for I don't know ninety cents. How much? Uh, yeah, like ninety cents. You could buy uh, it's another band with just two holes in it if you wanted to. All right. So 
I wonder if the one that came with it was uh, a two-band one, just out of curiosity. Let's see here. Nope, four. All right, maybe I'll, you know what? Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Steam Crave, if you're watching, maybe you should provide, instead of going with a different color, maybe you provide a two-hole one instead of a different color four-hole one. This way you're really giving more functionality to the people instead of just color. I don't know. That's just a recommendation for me. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Look at that nice knurling on the bottom. That is like quality machining right there. If this were on a knife, I'd be like praising this best jumping in the world. <laughs> Alright, so we will pop this off. And you can see there's another coil already in here. It looks to be the same. It's a dual coil, organic cotton right in there. Organic cotton it says 15 to 40 watts, 0.3 ohm. I'm going to let you take a really close look at this atomizer. Because this is the OCC version, so this comes with the pre-built atomizers. Again, you can get the RDTA version, which is exactly the same, but it comes with a rebuildable inside. Look at that. You can see one of the O-rings right there, another O-ring down here. And you just screw it into the deck. That's it. All right, so what makes this special? You know, it looks pretty ordinary on the outside. Well, you fill it through any one of these holes on the side, and the reason why you're, you just sort of, you could just fill it right into this lip right here just drip but anyway what happens is your your juice ends up inside the chamber right here and then as you're vaping that juice comes down any out of one two three four five six seven eight holes around the middle right there all around the outside right here the juice comes down those holes and they end up going down into the base let me go ahead and put this atomizer back on. Just screw that on just like that. And it just comes and soaks up into the bottom of the atomizer or the already the already uh the rebuildable deck. You had these holes on the bottom. So now if you notice, there's no ring right here. That helps seal the juice from the air. See, I'm going to go ahead and just stick this right in here, just like this, so you can sort of get an idea. So that juice is coming out of the holes and ending up going into the holes at the bottom of the atomizer. And, and it's this O-ring is sort of sealing everything up. Oops, I'm wrecking this. Trying to show you all these things. All right, so let's go ahead and screw this on like that. Let me go ahead and get some of that. I'm pulling the cotton out of the hole, which, because uh, I'm not being careful. Look at look at this detail. They even have some little knurling around the edge here to help you grip it to to screw that in. You want to make sure you screw it in fairly tight just so it doesn't unscrew while you're screwing the whole thing in and out. Anyway, so we just found out how the juice sort of gets to the wicking material. So how does the airflow get in here? Well, we already know we have four holes here on the outside that we can close off or open using that band which I took off. And those holes go straight through into the chamber on the inside. And you can sort of see those holes down in here. Let me see if I can sort of make that just a little bit obvious. You could see those holes inside there. Now these holes are totally separate than these holes that are going up and down to let the juice through. These are independent holes that are milled out. As a matter of fact, let me see if I got a flashlight. Since I have review flashlights, you would think that I would have a flashlight on my desk, ready to go, but I don't. Let's see. Uh, for the love of Pete. Right. There we go. Get, a, get one of my favorite flashlights. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine some light through one of these air holes so you can sort of see that come through like that. Let's see. So you can see you can see those holes right there that are coming through. There we go. So you can see you you have four air holes that are getting air right to your coil. It just comes in 
right to the coil. By the way, these holes, it has all these holes all the way around. You don't have to worry about alignment or anything like that. You just screw this thing in, prime it, just pour some, you know, a couple of drops of juice on a new coil, of course, a new atomizer like you would any other tank, and just screw this on. Just like that. Super, super simple. Oh, and, and of course you want to fill it. <laughs> So you gotta unscrew it and then just you know drop juice down right in here. And it just sort of flows down those holes. You don't have to, you know, get it into a hole. I mean, of course you can. If you have a little skinny dropper, you could get it down the hole. But really, all you have to do is just get it into this rim area here. And you have this rim area because this is what seals on these O-rings. You have a O-ring in here, you got the one in there, and it you know arrests against these two walls, the inner and the outer wall keep everything separate. Alright, so we'll screw that in and you're you're ready to vape and you could put your your band back on if you want. If you want a different color band, again they have all the different colors, you know, yellow, red, blue, purplish, pinkish, something, I don't know, hot crazy color, or the black. And then we put the drip tip on another nice O ring right there. And you're ready to go. I mean, this this is just the entire product here. The it's flavor, vapor production. It's out of this world. All right, so let's take a look at some of these different types of coils you could put in here. Like I've already showed you the organic cotton um, one that came with it, which is Cantal dual coil. This one is the three post build deck. So if you get the RDTA, RDTA they, they have these rebuildables in here. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. They come with a million screws. <laughs> so this is the three post guy right there. Very small, hard to build. Again, you can see those holes on the bottom that'll let the juice in. A little adjustable screw right there in case you're you know you need us to protrude a little more out the bottom some Delrin type insulator right there and you can see it has grub nuts but if you don't like grub nuts they got Phillips screws right there I say what there a lot sorry so that's the three post guy and you just put whatever you want on there nickel cat doll blah 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 everything is covered I, I love this it's like so module again modular module <laughs> nodule you just do whatever you want that's why they don't have to come out with a million different tanks every month like other companies I hate that I hate it so much you know like the Volkswagen Beetle you know the Volkswagen Beetle didn't change a lot for a long time because they got it right and they just slight did some slight changes every now and then the AR didn't really change that much over the years, but you could make it your own, do whatever you want. I, this is sort of that. They should have called this the AR. <laughs> Alright, so that was the three post build deck. What do we got? We have a two post build deck. Let's see what this one looks like. Because I don't think I've ever messed around with this one. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I, I should take it out of the bag. Let me get this open. This could be a long video. I really didn't want this to be a long video, but I want this to be different than the other reviews. There's so many reviews out there. I'm, I'm trying to give you a different perspective how I feel about this tank. So you can see here, you have just two posts, but you have the, uh, the screws are sort of, there's some grub nuts in here, extra grub nuts. There we go. So these are only grub nuts only. There's no Phillips on the two post version and the, and the grub nuts come in on the sides to tighten down these holes. So you so, could sort of mount your coils a little differently on this version. So they give you so many different options. There's two more grub nuts in the bag. So they give you four extra grub. Grub nuts. Grubby. Grubby. All right. So we'll pop that in there. So we have the rebuildables covered very, very well. Now, the organic cotton, I showed you the um, organic 
um, cotton canthal that came with the OCC. You could also get this nickel, this nickel pre-built guy. Really, technically not pre-built. I think you would just call this an atomizer or whatever. Let me just get this out of the bag. There we go. So there you go. It's nickel. You got the organic cotton. It's single coil and they say that this is a 0.15 ohm jobber right there. Very nicely done. I don't, I don't know how many coils that looks. You can freeze frame it right there if you want to you want to count how many windings that thing has right there. Ready? Freeze. <laughs> All right. So, I let me let me just put this aside here right now. This is getting long. So, here's, you know, I I got this sitting on top of my Evic VT. So, this is um the the nickel coil that's already in there right now. The one I just showed you, I have it set to 450 degrees, 35 watts. It's reading 0.16 ohm right now. And let, let's go back up here. Oh, by the way, let me just show you real quick. There's a black. There's the, the clear. If you don't like metal in your mouth, you know, clank it against your teeth. They have these available. Cheap. You could get to them on those links that I provided. So let's, uh, let's go back topside and just uh, enjoy some vape together. Hi there. <laughs> I'm having fun today, and I just want to share. I hope you guys had a really great holiday, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, four days off from work. Then you got to come back on Monday back to work, and ugh, that, that was a tough, tough day. Anyway, when I'm vaping in my aromanizer, <laughs> um, is Johnson Creek, Creek, did I say Creek? <laughs> oh, I was right, Johnson Creek. Peachified. I just wanted to get peachy today. This stuff is good. I, I'll tell you, Johnson Creek is freaking awesome. This is peach cobbler, and um, I love this stuff. If you want to get peachy, or you just want to make you know that that Monday after the four day holiday better, and just want to get peachy, <laughs> Johnson Creek, freaking awesome. Anyway, seriously, seriously, modular. You can get the small, you get the big one, and then you could put all these different decks inside it. You know, two different RDA decks. You could do nickel temperature control. You could do um, Canthal. I mean, it's everything in one. Um, you could change parts out. You could make the big one into the small one, just change the top part. Buy all the parts, different glass, different color glass. They give you extra glass. And... Um, Man, this this is just an awesome vape. Just, just take a look at this. And that's temperature control. That's not even the candle dual coil. This is just a single coil um, nickel. Then I don't even have it cranked up all the way. It's 450. It's 35 watts. I mean, I could go a little bit more crazy with this. Let me, let me crank this up to um, 550 degrees, and um, still 35 watts. Okay, that is just smoking. It, it's an incredible tank, and the flavor is hitting so hard. It is like a dripping atomizer. It is like a regular RDA, except it's auto feeding in this tank. It, it's just. Uh, I wish you were here to share. I, I would love to have you here in front of me so I could go. You gotta try this because that that's you know just try this. Trust me. Here I'll put a little rubber thing over here so we don't have to, you know, share germs. <laughs>
Just try it. I'm serious. It, it's incredible. I'm really excited about this tank if you uh, haven't been able to tell because it's that good. And again, I've been the, the RDTA tank that I've had a long time, it's been my go to tank. It's been perfect. It doesn't leak. And again, if you're even, you do get, you know, because I'm not lying here, you do get that slight condensation. Like if you start puffing on this seriously, and it's cold or, or whatever, so you got hot and then cold and, and everything. You do get that little bit of condensation like you would any tank, but it, it's not leaking out of it. And again, when I do carry this around, like if I have it in my pocket or whatever, I just, for my own self-assurance, because I have OCD, um, I, I just close everything off. I just turn the band so it's closed off and it is sealed tight. So it's just... Awesome. The build quality, everything is just built so well. You know, all the cuts are nice and sharp. The, the seams where things screw together, you don't feel a lip. It's all smooth. The knurling on the bottom, it, it's just really, really good. My only complaint is they don't provide the two hole um, band, they just give you two four hole bands. I think they should give you one of each in there, and so this, so you could sort of play around with it. But it doesn't really take away nothing because when you turn this band, it it closes off the holes all equally. So you're really not, you know, losing any capability. You could get that air down. You could hear it to almost nothing. So if you just want, you're not worried about making a lot of clouds. You just want to maximize flavor. Do the um mouth to lung hit. You could almost close this off. I just got this barely open. I'll do a mouth to lung hit. And that's just crazy flavor. That I mean, uh, the top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth, everything has peach right now. It is like I just ate a peach. It's amazing flavor. So, I, I, I can't recommend this enough again I wish I could just stick this in your mouth and you could try it now they gave me some notes here and I really think I went way overboard here that everything's interchangeable exchangeable with all these other versions check out the links and all the pieces and parts that you could buy separately or the whole thing you know one of them for forty dollars for an original and um, I want to emphasize three milliliter for the small six for the large 302 stainless steel so it's good quality top-notch CNC no machine flavoring top-notch flavor top-notch vapor production in a tank that's not changing every month they're not coming out with another version driving you crazy buying another one cost constantly costing you more and more money I just want to quit smoking and just vape and not have to be so into all the gear make it a giant collect i know some people love to do this stuff but some people just want to vape just vape <laughs> speaking of that huh and this is cyber uh, I'm, I'm videotaping this on cyber monday so I bet you a lot of vaping people are buying, you know, more tanks. Looking for the deal for another tank because, you know, Kang or whoever just came out with the another one. This one's a little bit bigger. This one has another feature. I, you just never stop. But I know that's the fun of it for a lot of people. It's sort of like fishing, you know. You have all your different lures and hooks and everything. And you got your big, you know, case. You're, you're fishing... And, and you it, you know it's part of the fun to have all those different things same thing in the gun world you have especially with ARs you have all the different things you could change things out you want a different rail you want a different trigger group you you want a different muzzle brake or whatever and you just swap all the different parts and and this does it but you don't you know it's not a different tank okay I, I'm being an awful awfully redundant 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 but um I think I think you should give them a try. Forty dollars, what do you got to lose? It's an awesome tank. You right out the gate you could either get the 
OCC with the pre-built one already in it, or you can get the RDTA, RDTA with the rebuildable already in there, and then you could just go from there if you decide you want to go in a different direction, but you don't have to buy a whole nother tank. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really thought um, we'd have just just have some fun. I, I hate going down structured videos especially after coming back from the holidays um, I, I just wanna just share how I feel about my favorite tank with you alright well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great day take care bye